Good morning. Good evening, actually. Lying. We're lying, yeah. <laughs> we weren't feeling so hot this morning, so we didn't really film much of a good morning, but good morning. Good We're going to flash back now. So we're heading up to have some tea at a traditional home here in the Eureka Valley. And it is chilly. To the day that we took, and we had an awesome day. It was so good. Um, up Even in the mountains bad, with the Berber so people good. doing like the traditional tea. And, and it was all things that weren't like, it didn't feel cheesy, it didn't feel like it was yeah. put on for tourists. It was like, they kept it in a way that's really authentic that you actually go do these things, and I thought it was really, really cool. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, it, was, it didn't feel. The only cheesy thing was there's a lot of camels you can pose on, but we didn't yeah, do that. No, for sure not. But we did like a hike up the mountains, which was awful in my throat and my lungs. Say the good thing. Being sick, but it was awesome. It was really cool. It just was literally really cold. Um, and the lunch was awesome, having the tagine and. From the river, and we yeah. saw Meta Kitchen. We met a cute kitten, which is you will see on here. But it was an awesome day, really a lot of fun. Um, and beautiful, then, so beautiful, and the landscapes are so diverse. Yeah. I like the smell. <laughs> this is the inside of the traditional home. Make tea. Um, is that okay? Bonjour. 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 Bonjour, madame. Bonjour, amitié. <laughs> The terrace. Did you say? River? Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Right. Yes. Yeah. 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 So they always pour the tea super, super high. Even our, yesterday at night when we went to the hotel, they like pour the tea from a foot above the glass. So we have some traditional handmade bread with butter, honey, and olive oil to go with our sweet tea. Delicious on a cold morning. Yeah? So this is a traditional Berber home. And that's where we just had tea, and these are the Berber people, sort of like the mountain people. So we're hiking through the Atlas Mountains now. And we're learning about the people that live here along the river and in the area. And it's really cold. Didn't expect that. This is the Fatima village. And there's 25 other villages all the way up into the mountains. And you can see the peaks over there. We'll get a better shot of it later, but those are the mountains right in there. Hike from down there and winds all the way down to the village. We're winding our way up to the waterfall. It never ends. Things to not do when you're sick. Hike in the Alice Mountains. The natural Berber fridge. Keeps everything nice and cold. That's amazing, yeah. This is what we came up here for. And there's six more waterfalls as you hike up the mountains. But they take like three hours to get through and we're not doing that. But it's high. And I'm sick. And it's cold. It's very cold. Yeah, it's beautiful. We finished the hike up. And I have gloves, the scarf, and the mark is not. And my throat is so raw and dry right now. Yeah, we're falling apart. We're falling apart, yeah, 100%. The waterfall that just rolls down. The people below. And goes all the way down the valley. The rare sighting of Katie the mountain goat again. Look at her go. She's so smooth and elegant on the rocks. It's the Moroccan Katie. Now we're just like scaling the side of the cliffs here. Waterfalls are back up there. You can go all the way up into the mountains up there. And the peaks, way up there. For the last ones, it takes a few hours to get up there. And it's obviously covered in snow. And you see the village down here that we came from? 
And then the goats sleep up here in the summer because it's very cool up here versus very hot, 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 hot down there. Me, you live here. Me, you live in the village. Ah. So here's lunch. I got chicken and vegetable, the Berber. And she got lemon chicken. And it's cooked in this tangine, which is like this sort of... Clay pot. Co yeah, clay pot, but it's like a pyramid shape. We're gonna do a cooking class later in the week and we're gonna do it ourselves. Looking forward to some hot food and some meat because we haven't had any protein. And a friend. This is a Moroccan kitty. It's very cute. So the aromatic garden here. Gonna have a little tour. All the different arom aromatics. And then you get a foot bath. So all the different herbs. how they make the argan oil. So they crack open the fruit and it comes out the nut. And you crack open the nut and you get a little almond. And then they grind it in this thing. And it looks like Nutella when it comes out. And then you knead it with hot water and that basically creates an oil and the oil comes out. And then you have yourself argan oil. And then for making it to cook, they roast it first. You can actually eat argan oil. Now we are drinking tea. Again. Again. With like 10 different herbs in it. Delicious. It's really good. We Hopefully found it's out that cure this morning us. we were drinking absinthe tea with wormwood. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it had like piles of sugar. So they have like the sugar like this. And they just put these massive cubes in to the tea. Whereas we're drinking this one without sugar because my preference is generally without. But yeah, this is hopefully going to cure my, my cold. And yeah, and behind us is the beautiful garden. It's so peaceful. They do like foot massages and lunch and you can do cooking classes and, and we bought argan oil mm -hmm. it's pure here and the markets you'll find you might find it's like been cut or they mark it up and it's not real whereas here at least you know it's pure so it's good it is. Cheers. Cheers. So the new town. The conference, uh, the Okay, now back in our hotel room this evening, welcome back. Uh, we're probably just going to relax for the rest of the evening and pack it in early because I'm tired, exhausted. Can you make him heal? He's yes. sick. I said deja vu. It was really weird. Can I eat more carbs? <laughs> they really like carbs here. They eat a lot of bread um, and a lot good. of sugar. Oh my gosh, the sugar they put in tea is obnoxious, but it's, it's really so good. Hard. We found that. The sugar put in tea is different than what we're used to. Very different, <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, we're gonna grab some dinner and then after that, head to bed. And hopefully, wake up healed. Hopefully, wake up healed. So we're eating here at Kif Kif, and we're starting. We're starting with three uh, vegetarian salads. So we've got a bunch of uh, peppers in one, aubergine in the other, eggplant, and the other ones got peppers in eggplant and uh, zucchini. Zucchini grilled, yeah. Alright, and for dinner, I've got a lamb and apricot tangine. And then Katie has a kofta egg tangine. It's basically like a beef sort of meatloafy stew, like meatball sort of style. So you can see the view from our restaurant here on the terrace. The mosque, the sun setting behind it, and the madness of the traffic down below. So let's get back to our hotel now. They call the prayer in the background. Such a cute little place. Katie and I found an altercation we'd walk by. She doesn't like altercations. And then they called the prayer came on, so it's kind of just a funny coincidence the two together. Hmm? Peace. Peace and relaxing. So you can see our place here, the pool down there. So cool. This big open. Uh, skylight. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe up here. Check out our most recent other videos over here. Or subscribe to our other channel over here. <laughs>